Back everyone, you know, all it takes is a few cool nights and all of a sudden those stink bugs begin to appear in droves trying to make their way to somewhere warmer. That could mean your home. Liam Healy spoke with a pet expert to bring us more about these stinky bugs. As the leaves begin to turn, everything from bears to bugs are going to start looking for somewhere to settle down for the winter. For many people, one of the bugs you may encounter as they're looking for somewhere warm to stay is the brown marmated stink bug, an invasive species of stink bug found in 46 states, including right here in New York. Now, according to Brian Eschnauer, an invasive species specialist for the Cornell Integrated Pest Management Program, they're harmless, but they can cause quite a stink. And they're called stink bugs for a reason. They will release a foul odor uh, when they're disturbed as a defense mechanism. This uh, makes them less attractive to predators that might go after them. And for us, it can leave us with a bit of an odor, or even in some cases, a mild allergic reaction has been reported from the stink bug liquid. So if you do find them indoors, best to usually use a vacuum. The good news is they uh, don't bite, they don't sting, they don't really don't do anything uh, that's harmful inside the house, but um, they can sometimes release a little bit of a, a stain where, where there's large numbers of them. You can see that that's easily removed with soap and water. Now, as for how to keep them out, it's as simple as sealing up any cracks, something you might want to do anyways with the colder months approaching. So this is what we like to see, a nice caulk seal here that uh, is going to prevent any kind of insects and also uh, cold air from getting in our house. If you still have an air conditioner unit in a window, making sure that the area around that is sealed because they're really good at detecting areas where heat is coming out of the house and the look as that uh, for a place to enter. Eschnauer also shared a little bit with me about another invasive pest in our area, the spotted lanternfly. As we begin to enter the cooler season, it is going to start laying eggs soon and might have already started in some areas. We do have some information available in this story on our website about what to do if you encounter a spotted lanternfly or one of its egg masses. You can find that on rochesterfirst.com. For now, though, reporting in Rochester, Liam Healy, News 8.